<laughs> hey, Yellow Room Wizards. I um, uh, hope you guys are ready to do a little bit more wizard work today. Um, I thought it, it would be fun to make some wizard whirly birds, whirly gigs. Um, this is just a pretty uh, simple paper folding exercise, but there's some ways to make it maybe a little more fun. Um, so what I did first was I took a piece of white paper and uh, blue construction paper and glued them together. And that's really simple. What I did, you can do it even for extra fun or extra practice. When we're gluing, we can make W shapes uh, with our glue and make sure we make as many W's as we can. That way we get all the paper covered. That would be kind of fun practicing making a W with a, with a glue stick. So then the next thing we need to do uh, is we want square paper. So to make a square paper, we fold here and make a nice triangle, it's like a wizard's hat, and then cut off the rectangle. We cut off the rectangle, and now we have a really nice square. Go ahead and fold it again back into the triangle and fold the triangle in half, right down the middle. Now we have a nice square that's been folded so we can see one, two, three, four triangles. Now we'll take our scissors and make cuts on all the corners, but not, not all the way to the middle. Maybe a little more than halfway down. Right on the corners. Try your best to cut a straight line. Almost done. Now, we'll take our take our cuts and we're going to fold them in like this. And put, every time we make a fold, we're going to put a little spot of glue near the middle so our folds will stay down. Hope I see a wizard's beard starting to pop through. Now we'll take this cut and do the same thing. We need a little bit of glue in the center. Bring this beard on down. Your fingers are getting sticky. Same thing with this beard. A little more glue. Now we got this side down. And the last one. Right here. A little more glue. 
and we'll have our whirly bird. And all the beard points are in the middle, then we'll know it's done. I'm going to add a little glue where it's not sticking. And there we have our wizardy whirly gig. Now, if we want to do some other things, of course, we can uh, put a little glitter in the beard, run the hat. And the last thing we'll do is we'll take, we'll go outside and find some kind of craggly old wizard stick, something that looks, you know, maybe maybe it'd make a good wand. And I cut out some stars, and we'll put a star here in the middle. This will help it spin. And here's where mom and dad can help us a little bit more. We're going to need either a push pin or a little nail. We have a little nail that I'm going to put right in the middle. And Find a good strong spot on your wizard wand. And these could also go on top of the wizard wands we made the other day. Whatever you have available. Like I said, maybe mom and dad will help us with this, or we maybe we can do it ourselves. But when we're done, we'll have a spinny wizard whirly gig and we'll see if we can take it outside and hopefully the wind will make it move and here's another way I made another one that I decorated a little bit differently and you can see I kind of just turned every every little spot into into a wizard face and added some stars um, you really can have fun just if it doesn't work take it apart and do it again it's not a big deal but hopefully by the end we'll have a wind driven Wizard Whirly Gig. Anyway, I hope you guys are having fun today. Uh, like I said, be careful with your wands. Um, anything you change, make sure you change it back. Um, and big peace and love to y'all. Miss you guys.